Rasmus is a dropshipping beginner and he made $50,000 last month. I've got him there in only a couple of months with a very specific Facebook strategy. And we're gonna break down exactly that strategy in this video and we're gonna dissect how he actually made it work here in such a quick period of time. So pay very close attention here and let's get started. All right, um, then Rasmus again, welcome to the interview here. Um, Thank you. It was a wild ride when since, since we started out it's like almost maybe six months ago or something like that maybe five um but yeah i mean tell me about your journey how everything went um how it's doing so far yeah for sure yeah we started back in october i think the beginning of october i had not really so much prior experience i have been doing dropshipping for a few months trying to test a few products test me like six products i believe before we started working together and yeah we started working together back in october tested a few products was breaking even for a few months and then in late december i found like uh, my first winner and yeah it's been a crazy ride ever since <laughs> yeah uh, so first of all like you tested six products by yourself um how much did you do there how many sales how like did you see any profits there or how did it go Oh, for the first six products I tested by myself, I didn't get a single sale. So <laughs> I just wasted a bunch of money on advertisement. Didn't really learn much because I couldn't really um, figure out what I was doing wrong. Like, was it the ads, the product, the store, whatever? Like, I didn't know anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, and how much did you make last month? Uh, you can share your screen, go through that. Oh, yeah, for sure. Just a second. Um... <laughs> this is uh, February, right after Chinese New Year. So I started scaling this product. Um, yeah, it's 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 unreal. This is with around thirty percent profit. Yeah, last month I I made more than I made the entire last year. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, I was I was working like kind of part time a little bit in school, <laughs> so I made around like thirteen k last year in, <laughs> in salary. So so. <laughs> I mean, yeah, um, it, it can go pretty fast after it starts to work, after you have the full like winning combination. But maybe you can like go back a little bit in time in terms of the analytics and go through how things progressed. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. So this is December. I started running it like the last few days. So did 500. It's your real potential. Saw, like, it was instantly, it seems like it was instantly profitable here, right? Yeah, yeah, it was like day one profitable. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, this is like, uh, had a few hours ads, right? And then mm -hmm. went crazy. <laughs> and then and you, January... had spend, you had like a spending limit, right? Yeah. Yeah. For the first, like the first month, I was only spending around uh, 50 a day here in December. And then in January was like 50 on one account. Like I think around 80, $80 total. $80 per day you were spending. Yeah, something around that. Yeah, yeah, it was. Uh... Yeah, so this means that on 19K, like if you spend $8 per day, like $100 is around 3K a month. So that was like 2.5 or something like that, what you spend? Yeah, maybe a little bit more. We can actually check. Let's just check. I spent uh, 2.8K. Two point, okay, so there we go. Yeah. And yeah, you yeah. made 19K revenue. And <laughs> yeah. I saw in the profits, it was over six. Um, I mean, this is <laughs> extremely, extremely, extremely good, obviously. Um, but yeah, like, how, first of all, how does that feel now? Like, how, how does it feel to to actually have like a finally a proper winning product? I I don't really think I've processed it yet. Like to be honest, like I I it, it's so unreal for me because I tested all these products by myself. I didn't get a single sale, and and all of a sudden I'm making like my yearly salary in two months. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a real unreal feeling. Yeah. Um, you can't really comprehend it at the beginning. Yeah. I feel like yeah. um, I'm slowly starting to process uh, the feeling of making like a real profit. No. Uh, yeah. I remember it was, it was similar to me and I've, I'm hearing this from a lot of people actually, like when you start to see those numbers, it, it still feels like a number on a screen and not like money, which is actually yours. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's that's the best way to put it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But what also is interesting, I mean, obviously you made around like almost 70K or so in two months. Um, 
Yeah. This is a low ticket item. How much do you sell it for? So I, I sell this product for $10. Then we use uh, a lot of upsell strategies to make the product, the AOV higher. So the AOV is around 18. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Obviously the, the whole Shopify AOV thing is fucked up here, but yeah. Um, maybe also what will be interesting is going through your Facebook ads because $18 average order value is low. Like it, it seems on the surface low. Um, but yeah, you can, you can maybe go through the Facebook analytics. This is basically the strategy I'm constantly teasing about like on, on YouTube when I talk about it without actually revealing the strategy itself. Because uh, yeah, that's this like this only really really strong beginner friendly strategy I'm still seeing on on Facebook, which actually does work, and um, it's just it's just something which is not going to keep working if I would reveal it on YouTube. So this is something which is actually only inside of the program, Rasmus. You you know what I'm talking about, but uh, yeah, yeah, sure. through, through the ads manager, and maybe you can see the actual results which you can get with this. So on this one ad account, um, in February you spent six k. Uh, yeah, six point seven k. Yeah. Yeah, and you see here on average the cost per results like four dollars, three dollars, four dollars, three dollars. It's just crushing. Okay, so this, those are the metrics which are gonna make low ticket drop shipping work in general. Obviously, if your average order value is eighteen, you need to have cost for purchases which are less than like ten. So this is clearly obviously profitable, and this is also the reason why low ticket stuff works. If you actually have like the right strategy on Facebook and do it properly, but in total, like this is one ad account which you, you which you spend the six k on. Um, mm. How many accounts do you have roundabout? I have this one account, and I have one other account, so I use it on two accounts. Okay, maybe you can go through the other one as well. Other account, uh, the metrics are a little bit screwed. It's, it's Facebook doesn't track probably all my sales, so it's a little bit lower. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, so in total you spent 2.6k on this one and um another six some six thousand something so it's around yeah, 6.7 yeah so 9200 or something like that uh, you basically spent on on ads and you made 40 actually 50, 50. yeah 50k yeah <laughs> though exactly so this is obviously something which is a super winner and it's, 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 here's a big disclaimer this is in a lot of the cases only achievable after a month of making it work for you you had this super winner from day one and instantly basically on day one of testing it instantly everything was super profitable and it just worked however you need to keep in mind that um, in some cases you need to optimize to actually get there and even with our facebook strategy it's not a magic pill where everything instantly just works and you don't have to do shit. You, it's still not easy what what you think were the main changes you did to get from testing six products without a single sale to actually now getting to like proper numbers? I I think the overall thing that changed was like the strategy and the mindset towards the dropshipping field. Like like you you preach a lot this um, that everything actually is in the product right that the upsellability and the creatives and everything. Um, like you have this set of cri criteria, right? The main criteria is for, for a good product, uh, because back when I was testing my own, my, my, my own products on my own, the only criteria I based everything off was like it was problem solving. <laughs> uh, because every YouTube you open, every YouTube video, like everybody's saying problem solving, problem solving. So that was my, my main focus. It had to be problem solving. Mm -hmm. So when we started for, first working together, it was pretty hard for me to understand like, okay, there's more than one criteria, right? And, and I had to go through all this shit. It was harder to find a real product to test. <laughs> it's just like the criteria mindset and how to find a real product, what a real winning product is, mm -hmm. is what changed for me. Like a hundred percent. This is, this is something I, I mentioned recently in a YouTube video where I was basically talking about not every product being a winning product. And obviously if you look at you on YouTube in general, if you look at the, the entire like, community, a lot of people will tell you that every product is a winner. And although that is true on paper, like obviously if somebody made it work, it's profitable. So it is kind of a winner. It's not, it doesn't mean that it's going to be a winner for you. And it doesn't mean that it's a beginner friendly product. And what my goal always is, is just to take a product, which is already giving you, like it's setting you up to make marketing easy because what you have going right now, it's not that difficult in terms of marketing. You not, don't need to think about the psychology, about selling and all, the, all of those things because we selected a 10 out of 10 perfect product and also have really good creatives on top of that. So the, like, there's a lot of things which need to be done if you're just selling, let's say, like a white t-shirt. If you're selling a white t-shirt, you need to be extremely good at marketing. 
you need to be like obviously white t-shirt is a winner i, I bought it so it's it, it needs <laughs> it's so buying white t-shirts but it's extremely difficult to actually make it work because the marketing behind it is the reason why people buy it. and um yeah it, it's just it's it's literally a hack to like skip the marketing part and just have a product which does all the marketing for you and um, I, I'm sure everybody watching this, like they experienced this by themselves, they just see the product and they want to have the product itself. They don't care about the packaging. They don't have, they, they don't care about the person who's selling it to them. They, they don't care how, how the store looks. They don't care about anything. They just want that product and they buy it and that's it. And um, this is what the ideal scenario looks like. And this is what we want to create for beginners. Now, obviously I'm not saying that we're not teaching marketing. Like, of course you need to have like, good <laughs> marketing, et cetera. But that comes after you actually understand that the, the product itself is doing most of it. For you, what would you say were kind of the, the, the problems you, you fixed? So let's say you, you think about the product, like the products right now, which you tested before. Um, obviously, you said like it's problem solving in a sense. Do you remember doing other mistakes besides that as well? Um, yeah, for sure. Like my, my biggest mistake, I believe, which also you told me, like we've been talking about a lot, right? is sticking to one strategy mm. like don't mix and and twist and use the best of all like you don't know shit like like you, you say it all the time you know you, you don't know anything like to be real um so don't my biggest mistake was also like mixing and and doing different strategies in one and trying to create my own strategy mm -hmm. um for facebook and everything yeah um so, so you basically try to like to you try different strategies for all the products and everything a single time it, it failed and you thought it's the strategy yeah exactly like i was trying like one strategy for two products and not single no no sales right and i was like okay maybe it's tiktok is the way to go went to do tiktok ads no sales <laughs> okay maybe it's tiktok organic no sales try the new strategy every single time i test a new product uh, i know now which you have told me and you preach a lot like stick to one strategy master that strategy yeah. that's how you do it that's literally how you do it um and for you what's the goal for let's say the next like six months where you actually want to be at? like my 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 next goal my next chance is doing 100k a month like that's the <laughs> i want to i want to get to 100k and i believe within the next two months i have a chance doing like 100k yeah yeah no i agree um it's it's pretty realistic actually like in, in in some of those videos where people say exactly like what you just said with like my goal is on okay in some cases it's actually not realistic and um it's 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 just like a little bit delusional but here it's uh, i also agree with you that it is very realistic to actually just double what you have going right now because of the strong row as you have um yeah. but what would you say is the thing which will actually get you to like the hundred k? What what changes do you have to do? You, do? you just have to spend more money, or do you, what do you think? Uh, like we've been talking about uh, the past few times we have our, our calls. Like the, the main thing I have to focus on right now is influence, like getting new content. Yes. So I have reached out to maybe like I would say like one thousand, one point two thousand people, and I have like uh, planned. I have shipped out products to ten different people now. They should arrive this week. They should get a new, fresh content, test that out, and then just spend more money. Like if they work, I believe like 100K, <laughs> it's got to be yeah, soon. Yeah. <laughs> this is, the, this is the, I really like that you mentioned it exactly like you did because combining the thing which you said before with sticking to one strategy and saying I reached out to 1,100 influencers is exactly my point. My point is, is that most people text 100 influencers and they basically say, hey, only three replied to me and all of them were shit. Influencer marketing doesn't work. And this is what everybody thinks. They think the strategy of influencer marketing now is bad. And that's it. You, you need to like, that's it. But in reality, it's literally volume. It's just volume. Obviously, you need to do some sort of setup before and you're going to have better response rates if your Instagram account looks good. If your text itself is actually compelling to answer, if you make it easy to understand for the influencer that you want to pay them and it's not you just being a fan and saying that like it, people like the, the, the influencer, they get a lot of DMs anyways. And you need to stick out at least in a way where they know this is about me be potentially being able to get paid. And that's the only place where those influencers are getting paid. Most of influencers, little secret here, are broke. They have no clue how to make money. You just have like a big following, make amazing content, but have no clue how to monetize that. And the only way how to, they can do it is just 
random brands, they, they're basically praying for brands to reach out to them and they actually can, can sell their product. Okay. So this is exactly where we basically come in and actually have, you, there's a bunch of things which need to be done right. So you need to get really good customer experience to that influencer because most influencers, they don't want to sell bullshit to their audience. They don't want to sell some garbage, which is going to take like 40 days to, to arrive in a shitty package and the product breaks in the first like 25 minutes. That's not what the, the, the influencer wants to sell. The, the, first pro, the, the first thing is again, product selection. So the product selection needs to be good to make influencer marketing work. After that, obviously what I would do is I would just like get um, get products to your home, actually make it nice, make like a nice box, logo on the product or like logo at least on the box and make everything just look nice. Ideally, just throw in some extra gift, like put in a cookie, put in like some extra <laughs> thing, which is just going to make the influencer feel nice about your brand. Every time you give something extra, a handwritten letter, something, they will appreciate it a lot. And you want to build long-term relationships here. With every influ influencer you work, like one influencer can be worth millions of dollars because one influencer might be able to make you one ad, which you're going to be just running over and over again. And we had videos which we spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on and made seven figures from it just because of one person who did an amazing video for us. And the chance of you hitting that one amazing video from try one is very low. So ideally you have one person who does good videos and they constantly make good videos for you. And you only get there by building a good relationship. Things like that obviously matter. And this comes into the influencer thing. But in the end of the day, you reach out to a thousand people and how, like maybe talk about the response rates, how many you actually started and like go through that. Yeah, for sure. Like, um, I feel like the response rate is it's very low. Like a lot of people don't respond. A lot of people just see the message and don't even see the message. I think like maybe 15% answered me. Like, I, I don't know if that's high or that's low in, in terms of normal. Um, Actually pretty high. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. 15, around 15%. Right. And, and most of them, like uh, I, I try to do like the micro influencers like between 5k and 20k then it's normal yeah yeah and and some of them are like with the prices out of this world mm -hmm. so like um very delusional in my opinion but i don't know uh so i'm also very strict with my the ones i pick like mm -hmm. i only want to work with people who can create something really nice for me mm -hmm. um so yeah like i've 115 percent answered me and 50 percent of them i had a dialogue with and then 10% in total, I, I made a lag of work with. Okay. So yeah, it's, it's a very, very low number. And if you say like 10, with 10 people, you actually send out the product, right? 11 people. Yeah. 11. So, so 11 out of 1200 people, I yeah, sent the product. So literally, is that 1%? Yeah, it's 1%. Yeah, that's 1%. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so basically 1%, um, something which is very realistic. And you also, again, if you text 100 people, it's going to be one person. And that one person is that they actually make like an amazing video or give you uh, the, the best offer is also not the highest chance. So volume. And the same thing goes for everything in dropshipping. If you have a good strategy and the first product doesn't work, Keep testing the next one and for you like was this the first product you tested or you, you had other products which we tested together as well right yeah, yeah i had we tested three i think it was the fourth product or the third product we tested the first two products were break even mm -hmm. like we didn't really i couldn't really optimize them and we couldn't really make them work together so we're like okay move to the next one mm -hmm. um so i feel like it was like the third product that really took off on paper that that sounds actually pretty low for for a lot of people who tested it. 25 and still don't have a winner <laughs> um, but this is realistic but also it sometimes can take longer i'm like i'm not guaranteeing anybody who joins this program that inside of three the first winning product is going to be found sometimes it takes longer you're going to see other interviews where people it takes like five or six but um with a good strategy where we actually pick only really good products and have good ads and a good store and a good uh, facebook structure this is something which is pretty realistic and um, yeah, like once you have it down, you're also going to see winner after winner after winner. Like if you really have it down and you have really good Facebook accounts, things just work. Like at the, in the yeah, end of the day, I sometimes yeah. I, I see a product and I know for a fact 
someone from the group is going to make a winning product out of it. The question is just who. And in some cases, it's the ads or the store or the offer, or it can be bullshit, which is the Facebook account. Because maybe talk about the, your experience with the Facebook account. You are building a backup store right now. And how is that going? Yeah, like, uh, so everything, basically everything I tested on my main ad account for the main store, everything worked. Like there's not, not been anything that, that hasn't worked, right? Mm -hmm. But for the backup structure, those ad accounts, I have not made it work yet. And I have used, how many am I up to now? Five different ad accounts, two different BM, I have three different BMs and two different personal accounts. And I have not been able to make it profitable. Mm -hmm. Like, even though I almost like just copy pasted, right. But made some tweaks. So it didn't yeah. look too familiar, but yeah. And in the end of the day, this is, this is reality. I'm not surprised by that. So on one account, everything works on the other account, the same exact thing is not work. Um, and just what you can generally do is basically like, it can be a couple of things. It can be the domain. It can be the page. Or it can be the, the the Facebook account, mainly the ad account, sometimes business manager or even personal account. But normally it's the ad account, page, or domain. And those three things, you just need to switch around until something works. And obviously you can only do that if you're only really, really confident with the product, with the strategy, with everything. Because if this would be the first account you would be testing on, um, you would basically think, okay, this, this doesn't work. We need to move on to the next product. And in some cases, you would actually be right. So um, it's, it's, it's just having the eye for, for what the actual problem is, is a huge key. And, and coming back to the point here, sometimes you're going to see that people are just testing winner after winner after winner with a good account. Like I was talking about exactly this with my brother. He, like he the last four products he tested, for example, all winners, all of them. Four, one after another, every single product was a winner. Why? Because we're just picking the perfect, perfect products for him. And also he, like the, the four products he tested um, were tested on a great account. So that really good account was also the reason why, why things worked out. And on other accounts, which he tested the same products on, it didn't work. For you, what would you say is kind of the biggest challenge right now in general? I'm not really sure, actually. I think I like, like, uh, I think my biggest, we talk about this every week almost, like what is my, um, my task for the week, like almost, <laughs> what should I focus on? Mm -hmm. It's really hard for me to pinpoint where my focus should be. So that you help me a lot there. Like uh, we talk every Friday, like how, what my, for the next week, what should I focus on? What should I do? Like, how should I spend my time? Mm -hmm. um, that's my biggest challenge actually, to be honest, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. is finding my, my focus. Yeah, um, exactly. And the, the the main, like what I told you, for example, for the last like, couple of weeks, it was just influencer reach outs and like only the influencer stuff. Um, but it's just going to gradually go to other things over like over and over again. And um, the next thing is going to be like testing new products and building up new accounts and doing all of those things. Um, exactly. Yeah. Also, like what would you say... Um, kind of are is is the biggest biggest helping point from this program like do you think that the main things were the calls the community the the videos or generally what what would you say is the, the main thing to be honest i think it's like uh, everything you get out like like, like i have this I, I feel like now when i joined i was very skeptical i don't know if you remember like i was <laughs> hesitating joining like no okay maybe i'll just think about it <laughs> Very, very oh, skeptical. Go? Yeah, yeah. I don't know if you remember. Like, it's very skeptical. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, um, and uh, and I remember asking you in the first call, like, when could I expect to get my first sale? Mm -hmm. And you told me, said like two weeks. After ten days, I got my first sale, and I was like, okay, this guy, he he knows what he's talking about. Okay, let's roll. <laughs> and now I have this feeling, like, with all you you get from you, like with the calls the every time you have a question that you can help with like basically everything you know everything to be honest right uh, and if you don't know you know somebody who knows so um yeah like just just in general you have the ability now when you're in this community and this program to get help with every single thing like yeah. if you uh, if something you're uncertain about you can like text you on whatsapp hey bro what you think 
but your opinion yeah that that's 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 the number one thing like it helped with everything yeah no for sure <laughs> but but for you like why why were you skeptical and why did you still decide to to get started like that's just in general with all these gurus online um because before i reached out to you i reached out to a different people mm -hmm. and and i don't know man I, I didn't take the initial call with them but there's such something about it so when i saw you and i contacted you i contacted you because it was one of your videos you said like i'm doing store reviews dm me on instagram i was like okay dming you um so it's just like a general skepticism about like mentorships and programs in general mm -hmm. um so yeah, that's I think that was just why I was skeptical. You knew that you need a mentor, but you were skeptical mm. to trust anybody in general. Yeah, that was actually a better way to put it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's exactly what I was trying to say. <laughs> no, yeah. But but, but I'm, I'm seeing that a lot. Um, and I understand that that is probably also the correct way of thinking about things in general. Like, I was talking about this a couple of times on YouTube already, but I was really naive and I was trusting everything I saw online. And I got lucky that the first person I started work with, to, to, to work with, he actually was legit. I was really lucky. Like it, it was just pure act, like pure luck. Um, but also I was like, I, I fell on my face after that because I got scammed a bunch of times by other people. Um, but it's, it's fine because it's not, in the end of the day, it's, it's not a big deal. And also even from the people who scammed me, I learned a lot. Like I learned to not, like, I learned what to look out for. I learned what to not trust. I learned how to, how to evaluate who's actually legit, who's not. So there was, there was a good, like a, a bunch of good things, which, which came from that. And, um, yeah, like it's 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 also it's not a it's not a problem to be skeptical. I understand that, and it's a it's probably the correct way to go. Did you already have this thought in in your head, like all 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 the time, that you need a mentor, and also why? Actually, not like I was. I, I had this idea, like I could make it on my own just mm -hmm. by watching YouTube videos. That like mm -hmm. they would they would tell me everything I needed to know. Um, and I was watching all these different YouTube guys who were telling me all these things, like. Uh, things that are not really useful to be honest looking back on it now what I, what I know now what you've taught me right mm -hmm. like like it's not really uh, useful information you get uh and then i saw your videos and you were preaching about this this thing with a mentor like this will help you move move your business and actually get it to work right mm -hmm. um so yeah you were actually the one who really intrigued my my thinking in this mentorship and getting a mentor and, and dropshipping and business in general, right? Mm -hmm. um, so I was always thinking about getting a mentor, but you are the one who really pushed me over the edge to really getting a mentor. <laughs> yeah, um, and I mean, for you, you said you have like a part-time job. Is that still the case? Yeah, I'm still working. I'm working like, it's, it's just to get out of the house, right? Otherwise, I'll be grinding every, every day. It's the only thing I do. So I'm working like 15 hours a week, maybe. Something yeah. About that. Yeah. So, do you want to keep that, um, or how long do you want to keep that? No. Um, I have when I get my next winner, like, and I think this like shouldn't be like long before I hit a winner more. I'm gonna for sure quit my job. Yeah. Yeah. I just need to know I can replicate it. Agreed. Agreed. A hundred percent. And like the 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 smart move here is not to quit. Like the just because you had. Two good months, which literally in the grand scheme of things is nothing, like mm. nothing. In total, 70K revenue, uh, 25, 30K profit in two months. Like, great, amazing numbers, super cool. But it's not something where you quit the job instantly. Like this is not something I would recommend ever. And um, the, the, the main thing is just to understand that this is something which can be done multiple times. And to understand that you need to have a couple of things. Number one is multiple winning products. Number two is backup structures, which are, which are not going to fuck up. Like if you, if you have one block or something, um, if you're one block away of getting broke again, <laughs> so, um, yeah, but for, for you, what would you say is kind of the, the main advice you, you would give to a person just starting out? That's a great question, actually. Um, I, it's 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 a tough grind, and and there's a lot to learn. Like even though you know you think you know everything, like you got the creatives down, you got the store down, you got the product selection down. If you haven't had the first major winner and replicated a few times, you actually don't know anything. To be honest, like I f I feel like that now, and you've preached this to me a few times. Like, um, 
and also get a mentor like like don't waste time doing it on your own try try to do it yourself but but you need somebody to teach you a hundred percent yeah yeah i still do truly do not understand why people are like why people don't understand that and in every single area of their life nobody would ever argue that if whenever you start playing soccer or football or whatever <laughs> you don't need a coach never e nobody ever would say hey just let me just watch why don't i just watch youtube videos i'm a professional player what like yeah 100 percent agree no nobody ever would say something like that but with business it's so, it's so like it's such a special thing where everything is all all of a sudden different and everything <laughs> everybody's like a marketing expert from <laughs> being born thanks thanks yeah. uh, so i 100 percent agree with that yeah like yeah. everyone believes like they know every single thing but but in reality they don't yeah and i still don't that's why i'm still yeah. i'm still working with you yeah. and i'm gonna continue working with you for a long time yes yes which specific things about dropshipping did like what you thought were true kind of were proven false over the last couple of months um like when you like now looking at youtube videos are generally like looking at things you now have like obviously a little bit of more of a critical viewpoint where you can actually evaluate a little bit more what would you say are the biggest myths which which people are talking about on youtube and also like yeah wh wh what things would you say uh, are main, the main things there the main thing I actually thought, like, and that's the reason why I didn't start earlier with dropshipping, is that every single year somebody comes out and you see everywhere like dropshipping is dead, dropshipping is going to die, mm -hmm. dropshipping is like completely changed. You can't do it anymore. Like, and that's not true. <laughs> it's not dead. I don't believe it's gonna die. Uh, it, a lot as long as people buy online, it's gonna work, right? Yes. So that's that's the main thing, like, yeah, that I thought was true before I started. Yeah, agreed, agreed. And even if drop shipping, which is basically you not having an inventory, is gonna die out, in the end of the day, like, the the other thing which needs to be kept in mind is the skill of selling. That's for sure not gonna go. And this is also something which which I'm always thinking about. When I started doing good numbers with dropshipping in the very, very beginning, I already knew, okay, I can offer other people something here. So if I I go to a company and go to a regular job as a person who's going to do their Facebook ads, now I can actually go there with expertise that other people need. And you don't need to sell dropshipping products. You just need to sell. So if you know how to sell, now you can go to a company, increase their sales and charge a shit ton of money. And it doesn't matter if you're a freelancer or you're going to do that, or you're going to be um, just like a regular employee there, you're going to get paid better because the overall profit the company is making is going to like be drastically impacted by specifically you. And I remember a long time ago, I was doing an internship and I remember how the whole Facebook ads department there, it was like not the biggest company, maybe like 40 people working there, but they didn't have like a Facebook ads expert. And I also had no clue what I'm doing with Facebook. I just started the store. It was it maybe like a 5K over like half a year. So it was bad. But I also didn't pretend that I didn't know anything. But I saw with my own eyes how a guy came into the company and the amount of sales calls that um, that were there for, for, for the, the, the closers basically went up four times. So four times the amount of the sales calls they had before, they have now just printing money and that was one guy who just did their facebook ads and it was actually a big deal because those sales calls were like those closers were selling for hundreds of thousands of dollars it was huge deals which were going on which they just got from just okay facebook ads and it was literally inside of the, the change was done inside of a week so that, just to think about that is crazy. To 4x the, the amount of revenue or the, the, the amount of sales calls for a company with 40 employees. I don't like, if you think about how much 40 employees, if you're paying the minimum wage, all of them, let's say they're making 2K a month, that's already 80K spent on employees, which I, I guarantee you not everybody's getting paid only 2K. So <laughs> 80K, they, are, they, they can spend 80K on employees, meaning that's a huge company meaning that they're already making a lot of money and to 4x or 5x their sales calls 
is crazy. So if you have that skill and dropshipping dies out, your skill doesn't die out. And there's going to be a lot of people who don't need dropshipping products to be sold, but Facebook ads or TikTok ads, or even if you're doing TikTok organic, you're selling a bullshit $50 item. Nobody cares about that with <laughs> dropshipping. If, you're, if you have, if you can make a video go viral and there is a potential to sell something for 100K, now, again, a company is going to pay you a lot to make them go viral. So lead generation is not going to go. And the skill of that is going to stay 100%. So for everybody thinking this is not a long-term business, you truly don't get it. You don't get what it's, this whole thing is about. And it doesn't matter. Like for you even, I 100%, like I know this for me, I, I'm pretty sure you're, you're going to agree with that. When you see numbers like this, it opens your mind to me making money online forever. Like now I understand money online, however, whatever, even if everything changes, it's possible, it's doable. This is something which is pretty, like, it, I get it. It's possible. There's something out there which is definitely going to make it work. And also, even if literally to replace a 2K income job is so easy. Like, if you're getting 2, 3K, you just, like, you, you, you learn Facebook ads through dropshipping. Now you can get a company where you just do the Facebook ads. You manage them for, like, an hour a day, one and a half hours, hours a day, making the same all of a sudden. That's crazy. It is crazy. And I agree a hundred percent. Like it's just the initial like success or like the initial sale you get when you start to understand, okay, it is actually possible mm -hmm. to make a living and make money yes. just by sitting at your computer. Yeah. And it, it gives you like, it also boosts your motivation and everything. Where you sure. Know yeah. A lot. Yeah. You understand. Okay. The thing I'm doing here, it not only has purpose, it has a future. Like I, I understand that the things I'm doing they're fruitful and I'm making something work here. Meaning that if I do more, I'm going to get more. So yeah, like this is also like for everybody who's unmotivated by not seeing results, you didn't, you don't deserve to be motivated. Like <laughs> not there yet, the, uh, for sure Thanks. you're not motivated. So in, in general, anything you, you, you wanted to add here or talk about what you wanted to mention, whatever you, whatever you want to say. Nah, not really. Like, I just want to say to everybody watching, like, um, work hard like this is this is actually true well i didn't believe it at, at the beginning as well like most people do mm -hmm. but but if you actually work hard and you use a uh, focus on one strategy and and do the work it's gonna work like don't quit it's gonna work a hundred percent did you did you tell your family about all of this yeah i showed my mom the other day she was almost having a heart attack <laughs> <laughs> she, she, she thought that I was like, okay, this is illegal 100%. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So what did she think or what did your family generally think about dropshipping before this? My mom and dad don't really understand like the concept of dropshipping. They are 100% believe I scam people and, and <laughs> it's just like, it's illegal. They didn't think of it, it's illegal. Uh, my brother, on the other hand, he's recently, he's, he's my VA at the moment. <laughs> he's doing all the VA stuff for me. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, they were kind of supportive and also not. They was like, okay, go get a real job, go to school, mm -hmm. go all these other things. Yeah. And what about now? Like, they still think that it's illegal? Yeah, my mom does. My dad thinks it's, it's fucking cool. He tells all his friends, like, my son is, is doing like uh, half a million Danish kroners. <laughs> uh, so yeah, he, he thinks it's really cool. But my mom thinks it's, it's still illegal. It's a really interesting point that most people actually think that making a lot of money can't... Like this is a living proof that making money the traditional way, a lot of money quick, is nothing which is doable. If your mom and most people who just go a traditional way, like including a lot, most of my family... They cannot comprehend that a legal thing can actually make you a lot of money fast. The whole thing is fucked up. Like <laughs> yeah. the, the, normal thing, the, the normal way is wrong if you think about it exactly like this. Like it, it, it just it, it just proves exactly that point. And I was even like I, I saw Andrew Tate talking about exactly that, where he basically was talking about if if you see like a person at the gas station less like in their mid twenties 
who's who's just having like a crazy car, nobody's gonna believe that he just studied and has a good job. It's either a drug dealer or something else. So yeah, thanks. So, <laughs> and, and yeah, but but this exactly proves the, that point. It's a perfect mm -hmm. analogy. Like that your mom thinks that means that the whole like the whole system is fucked up. So for everybody who's who's just in a regular job, truly think about that and truly think about what your goal is. If you just want to achieve something which is capped by the job market that's fine if your goal is not money and also if your goal not even is, is not money but is is not the, the the actual freedom of doing what you want whenever you want sure go for it and the reason why most people don't have a business is because it's also it can be really stressful like i've personally been through times where i was questioning everything i was really unsure if i'm gonna make it out out of situations where on scale you can lose so much more than if you don't have anything like the, the the range is not there so if you have a job which is just consistently making you 2k or 3k that's amazing great but there's no potential to lose a lot of money but there's also not a, a lot of potential to to make a lot of money yeah i mean th this ties down to you being rewarded for the risk the reason why this pays so well is because you can work for a month and lose money this is nothing you can get in a job. You can never, ever in a job <laughs> work for a month. And you, that doesn't happen in normal. So, yeah, um, that's basically the, the the main things which which people need to to understand. They're just a range where what they see their potential in, and if 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 they actually are ready to take the risk of achieving something which is bigger by also taking the risk of of losing much more. I think we can wrap it up here um, and I'm very excited to to see your numbers and also I'm excited to to see you maybe again in like a few months for an update. I hope so too, man. Go, it's going to be in a, in a few months, going to be a follow-up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's, let's, let's see if you can actually break the 100k month, which I, I hope so. That, that can definitely happen. Yeah. Um, so for everybody watching, if you're interested in also working with me and, and starting with this program, you can click the link below, sign up for a free call. We're going to find out if we're a good fit. And if yes, we're going to get started. If no, then not. So good call and talk to you next time.